Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. This is day 19 of Marion's 31 day challenge. And my challenge for today, I actually completed yesterday. Um, ever since I got my new camera, it's been taking forever to upload videos to YouTube. Uh, anywhere from, you know, an hour to almost three hours. And someone had told me that, you know, there's a way to compress the video files. So that was my goal for yesterday, was to learn how to do that. And I was trying to learn how to do it through some YouTube videos. And they said you could do it through Windows Movie Maker. But apparently the program I have, I have Windows Movie Maker Live, is a little different than the regular Windows Movie Maker. So I had to figure out how to do it on there. And of course, while I'm in the midst of trying to figure it out, my husband comes home and asks me what I was trying to do. And I told him, and he just rolled his eyes at me because he knows that I'm technically challenged, but at the same time, he thinks he's Bill Gates and he's not. I mean, he knows more about computers than me, but, you know, he has his challenges too. But of course, he came and took over and he was trying to do what I wanted, but he didn't understand what I wanted to do. He kept compressing them in a different way and it wasn't working. So anyway, he got frustrated and he got up and walked off and I looked at a couple more videos and within 15 minutes I had figured it out, I compressed the video and instead of taking over two hours to upload my eBay video last night, it took like 10 minutes. So I was thrilled to pieces. And I'm sure I could compress it even more than that, but I'm just happy with that right now. So that was my challenge for day 19. But I wanted to share something else with all of you because that's kind of boring. So um, my friend Nancy, hi Nancy, she did a video a couple days ago for one of her challenges uh, showing everybody how to make molds from um, to use for your with your UT. So I just wanted to share a few of the things with you that I've made with my um, UT and some of my molds. Um, all these things were actually done in classes that I took with Suze Weinberg. I'm fortunate enough to live in the same state as her in New Jersey and my mom and I had taken a few classes with her. Um, so this is one little thing we made. We put a I actually put a cookie cutter on top of a picture that we liked in a in just a plain mail order catalog and then you pour UT over it you let it harden a little bit and when you tear it off you get the picture underneath it's really really cool um, I would do you know tutorials today but my daughter is homesick again I think this is, she's going back to school tomorrow, but she's still sick, so I don't have much time today. This again is another one that we did um, pouring the UT into a cookie cutter over a print that we saw in the catalog. Um, this one is, I think we dipped this, yeah, we dipped this into a, we dipped some UT, or we dipped a domino into some UT. I think we might have colored, I'm trying to think how we did this one. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look this one up on her website and figure out how we did this because I did these years ago. And this is another one where I think we dyed, dyed the UT different colors and we stamped on it. Added um, some micro beads and some other goodies while it was hot and, and layered them on top of each other. Oh, this is another one of those images from a, from a catalog. And this one I think we just stamped it right into the UT and then added some Pearl X on top to give it some shimmer. And then these are the two molds that I made in her class. This is kind of like an Egyptian looking one. It's got micro beads and glitter stuck in it. But um, this is how that came out. I don't understand. I don't know why we did green. I think we were going for the look of jade. And then we put some um, rub and buff on top of it. And then this is the other mold that I made. This is my little leaf mold. And I made this little 
jade, uh, green, and gold leaf. And what else did I make? Oh, I made this leaf too in her. It's just a different color of UT. Now I only have, I think, pearl and clear UT right now. I need to get some flex. Um, I don't think these were actually made with flex. I think they're, these are just straight UT. I don't even know if she had flex at that time. We did this so long ago. But um, if you don't have, if you want to color your UT, I think you can still get these dyes. These are her to die for inks. They're specifically made to go into your UT. And she always told us, you know, you can mix the colors, you can do whatever you want, and you swirl them around with your nonstick spatula that she also sells. Uh, but she does recommend don't stir them completely and don't stir them too much or you're going to get a lot of air bubbles in them. Uh, this was a pendant that we made with one of those um, uh, donut hole molds. You bake little donut holes in. It was just a little nonstick mold. And um, I put some of this, these opalite flakes, into my pan first and then I poured the UT on top and so then when I popped it out it looked like this and we just tied a little cord around it and this is another one that we did in the little donut hole pan this I think was a, just a bunch of leftover mishmash of colors and we mixed it together and poured it in and the last thing I want to share with you is, is my favorite thing that I did in her class. I actually have to fix it because my daughter broke part of it. But I made this little box in one of her classes a few years ago. And the entire thing is made of UT. And I can pop this back on pretty easily. But I think what we did was, I think this was Pearl UT. And I believe I mixed the the blue and the magenta into the pearl. And what you do is you need a craft sheet, a nonstick craft sheet, and you need a couple cookie cutters. You need your basic shape cookie cutter that you want the box to be. And then if you want a little uh, hollow part in the box, then you need one more little cookie cutter. So what we did first was we just put the the large cookie cutter down and poured some UT in and made a thin layer. You can see there's some layers built up in here. Put in one thin layer, let that dry just a little bit, and um, actually before we let it dry, I think we pushed the little cookie cutter in there. Then on the second layer, I think I poured a tiny bit more into the small cookie cutter and then filled the space around it with some more UT. And then for the final layer, I just poured into this shoe cookie cutter and around this little one. I didn't put any more UT in the middle of this, so I would have a little hole. And we also had to just put a hole in it. This is just a little dowel that's in here right now. now. This little dowel, we pushed a hole into it while it was still um, drying. And once this was dry, we put this aside and we made the lid. This is just one layer of UT. We pushed the dowel through the top. We may have used a metal piercing tool to push a hole through the top. And then we glued this little dowel into the top. I added a bead, I added this bling, and then it just sits right in here and can swivel. So that's my little shoe box and this was just a little upside down bottle cap and that I, I thought looked like a cute little ruffle and I put some purple bling in the middle and then she had one of these little love charms in a box of odds and ends that we could use and I just popped that little guy in there 
and that's it and this has been sitting on my vanity in my bedroom for years now because I just think that this is fantastic so I want to try and make a butterfly box and obviously glue this back on but that are, that's some of my um, those are some of my projects from Suze's workshops uh, if anyone ever gets the chance to take a class with her please please do she's an amazing teacher and she's hysterical and it's just so much fun uh, and I hope you all you know go out and run out and get some um, mold and pour some other molding material and make some molds so you can make more embellishments like Nancy did because it's so much fun so that is it for day 19 and I will talk to you all tomorrow on day 20 wow I can't believe we're at 20 already so I'll talk to you later guys thanks for watching bye